Lenz's law, named after the physicist Emile Lenz pronounced, who formulated it in 1834, states that the direction of the current induced in a conductor by a changing magnetic field is such that the magnetic field created by the induced current opposes the initial changing magnetic field. It is a qualitative law that specifies the direction of induced current, but states nothing about its magnitude. Lenz's law explains the direction of many effects in electromagnetism, such as the direction of voltage induced in an inductor or wire loop by a changing current, or the drag force of eddy currents exerted on moving objects in a magnetic field. Lenz's law may be seen as analogous to Newton's third law in classic mechanics. Topic. Definition. Lenz's law states that the current induced in a circuit due to a change or a motion in a magnetic field is so directed as to oppose the change in flux and to exert a mechanical force opposing the motion. Lenz's law is contained in the rigorous treatment of Faraday's law of induction, where it finds expression by the negative sign, which indicates that the induced electromotive force E display style math call E and the rate of change in magnetic flux phi b display style phi underscore math bf b have opposite signs this means that the direction of the back emf of an induced field opposes the changing current that is its cause dj griffiths summarized it as follows nature abhors a change in flux if a change in the magnetic field of current i1 induces another electric current i2 the direction of i2 is opposite that of the change in i1 if these currents are in two coaxial circular conductors 1 and 2 respectively and both are initially zero then the currents i1 and i2 must counter rotate the opposing currents will repel each other as a result Topic. Example Currents bound inside the atoms of strong magnets can create counter-rotating currents in a copper or aluminum pipe. This is shown by dropping the magnet through the pipe. The descent of the magnet inside the pipe is observably slower than when dropped outside the pipe. When a voltage is generated by a change in magnetic flux according to Faraday's law, the polarity of the induced voltage is such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change which produces it. The induced magnetic field inside any loop of wire always acts to keep the magnetic flux in the loop constant. In the examples below, if the flux is increasing, the induced field acts in opposition to it. If it is decreasing, the induced field acts in the direction of the applied field to oppose the change. Topic. Detailed interaction of charges in these currents In electromagnetism, when charges move along electric field lines work is done on them, whether it involves storing potential energy negative work or increasing kinetic energy positive work. When net positive work is applied to a charge Q1, it gains speed and momentum. The net work on Q1 thereby generates a magnetic field whose strength in units of magnetic flux density 1 tesla equals 1 volt second per square meter is proportional to the speed increase of Q1. This magnetic field can interact with a neighboring charge Q2, passing on this momentum to it, and in return, Q1 loses momentum. The charge Q2 can also act on Q1 in a similar manner, by which it returns some of the momentum that it received from Q1. This back and forth component of momentum contributes to magnetic inductance. The closer that Q1 and Q2 are, the greater the effect. When Q2 is inside a conductive medium such as a thick slab made of copper or aluminum, it more readily responds to the force applied to it by Q1. The energy of Q1 is not instantly consumed as heat generated by the current of Q2 but is also stored in two opposing magnetic fields. The energy density of magnetic fields tends to vary with the square of the magnetic field's intensity, however, in the case of magnetically nonlinear materials such as ferromagnets and superconductors, this relationship breaks down.
Topic: Conservation of momentum. Momentum must be conserved in the process, so if Q1 is pushed in one direction, then Q2 ought to be pushed in the other direction by the same force at the same time. However, the situation becomes more complicated when the finite speed of electromagnetic wave propagation is introduced see retarded potential. This means that for a brief period the total momentum of the two charges is not conserved, implying that the difference should be accounted for by momentum in the fields, as asserted by Richard P. Feynman. Famous 19th-century electrodynamicist James Clerk Maxwell called this the electromagnetic momentum. Yet, such a treatment of fields may be necessary when Lenz's law is applied to opposite charges. It is normally assumed that the charges in question have the same sign. If they do not, such as a proton and an electron, the interaction is different. An electron generating a magnetic field would generate an EMF that causes a proton to accelerate in the same direction as the electron. At first, this might seem to violate the law of conservation of momentum, but such an interaction is seen to conserve momentum if the momentum of electromagnetic fields is taken into account. 